just looking at the beautiful corals that they did on the Bermuda Triangle saltwater touch tank. It'd be so cool to have rays in here and bamboo sharks and kind of really see how beautiful it looks with all of the coral in here. And that's what the idea was, right? When we did this kind of coraling thing, I'm sure that you were like, what is Brian even talking about? We wanted to feel like the coral was creeping out of the tank right this now. This is absolutely stunning. It's going to be so amazing when it's finally done. There's water in here, you know, the backdrop. We have some cool theming on the wall. It's going to be amazing. And of course, the Stingray tank is done as well. Take a look at this guys, the stairs are actually done to the Stingray tank right now. I love the color that they actually chose. Now again, this is going to have coral in it as well, but unfortunately... A meds team in Creative Cascades is actually finishing up their work. Tomorrow is their last day here for theming. Now they'll be back in about a month and a half to do the capybara and to finally do some coral on this. Kind of the finishing touches and so like that. But for the next month and a half till after the holidays, we're going to miss those guys. They are absolutely incredible. And take a look at this tank right here. It turned out so freaking amazing. It's exactly what I want. I know that Steve Bashy, this was his vision. He's the one that kind of designed it. And I know he's going to be so excited. He's going to be here in about an hour to take a look at it. And, and look at, they've got the stairs painted here. they got black over here. I mean, wow. This is so amazing. So this is basically the first tank that we have completely done. Of course, we still have to do filtration and stuff like that. But there's something that's called leaching, which basically means that we have to fill it up with water, let the cement and all the other materials and stuff like that kind of leach out. Then we have to drain it and fill it a couple times. Now, it's going to probably take two or three days just to fill this tank. So it's going to be wild, but we're going to probably start that next week, believe it or not, get water in here. Again, the filtration won't be working because you don't want to run the filtration when you're leaching because all that chemicals and all that stuff could get into the filtration. But we're going to have this actually a water in here maybe next week. Who knows, we might even be able to take a little dip in here and do a little swim around. I don't know how that's going to go, but wow, this is amazing. They crushed this tank. So we got some more stands in as well. We're just kind of setting them where we think it's going to go. Now, this is probably going to get switched a little bit. Again, I just wanted to set them in an area where uh, I think they're going to go. That way, when me and Steve get together, we can talk about do we want to move them down, do we want to move them around. So this is basically, again, just zigzag tanks right here. You know, the tanks aren't really big. They're only about this tall, but it's all going to be like fresh water, well planted, really cool. It gives us an area that we have some space on this side. We have some space on this side for the mammals over here. And then there'll be a couple big S tanks over here that are 1,500 gallons each. And they'll hold discus in African cichlids. They'll be somewhere over here. We've got a corner tank right here that's going to be really cool. And then we have a big tank that goes along this wall right here. And that basically rounds out this area here. Man, I tell you what, it's crazy how like start shrinking and filling in. I mean, what used to feel like a giant space is definitely getting smaller. I think this is going to go near the jelly tank. I think it's going to be a little octopus tank, if I'm not mistaken. So it's going to be pretty cool. And then these cylinders here, not 100% where they're going to go. I'm going to have to wait till Steve gets here so he can tell me what he's thinking. This is what I want in the mammal cages, too. Okay. I think this is better look than just a, a regular brown because I think it, I like it because it's very earthy. It's very whatever. It looks like, the, like dirt and rock. How yeah. cool is that? Yeah. Huh? No, I'm super happy. And now he's working on the backpack too. All right, well, this is so exciting. I just love seeing the start to finish with all these different tanks. This guy in particular, now we went from just plain cement, now we got this awesome color. They did a bunch of coral work, which... Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. That is insane. And I... I love it. I'm just blown away. No. <laughs> because you're sitting here, you're looking and you watch when they start and you're like, I don't know, you know, how is this gonna look and is it gonna do whatever? But like it's beautiful. And oh my god, how cool are those stingers? Look at that. Like I know he said that's what he was gonna do, but that looks so good. So crazy. Yeah. I think this is where the octopus is actually gonna go, which is kind of cool because it's an interesting kind of you know, shape for a tank. You don't see kind of a triangle tank like this, but it's really cool is it can follow the line of this wall right here all the way through here. It kind of fits in perfectly here. And then of course we've got a concave bow right here, which is pretty cool. What we're gonna try to decide is do we have it just like this or do we set it into the wall and have the wall kind of bow along with it? Not 100% sure yet. Again, when Steve gets here, we'll kind of discuss it. But uh, just getting the idea of where tanks are gonna go. It's 
so exciting. And again, we've got the big jelly tank here, and then we've got a big tank that's gonna go over here. That's 10 foot long, and it's what they call a slant tank. So it actually slants from top to bottom. Really interesting. This is where it's gonna be a really cool insert in here. Probably lionfish over here. And then over in this corner, there'll be like a little sink. That way, when you're feeding the stingrays or petting the stingrays, you can actually wash your hands before and after. What are you guys doing? <laughs> You know, we just put in feet on the stands right now. We got, man, he, he doing his job. He good at his job. Oh, I found him. Oh, there he is. Oh, oh his little yeah, baby. I mean, I don't know. Are you guys busy, or it looks Ooh. like. Uh, uh, well, we were just, you know, we just unboxed this guy a few weeks ago. Anyways, the mole snake, though, and we have him here on display now, and he's doing absolutely fantastic. He's eating, and he's looking so good. He's got a little face. Well, you guys have been busy. Did you, have you guys seen Legacy? Not in a while. No. Oh, you guys gotta come over. <gasps> Let's go check it out. So we're working on the bridge. How do we get in the building? <laughs> <laughs> I think you're excited for the both of us. Dude, look, our closet's done. Yeah, yeah that's a snowman face, bod. Snowman face. So this isn't all gonna just be water. This is gonna be like little pools and... Good. The pond that we have across the street, obviously I love it, but it does need more space for the turtles to get out of the water. I think we can do a lot here. Oh, my favorite dude, color. look at the waterfall! He doesn't talk like this. <laughs> yeah. this they finished this too? Coring it? Outside. Yep. That's so sick. No, remind me, bud. Who's going in here, bud? This is going to be Leopoldine. Oh, my Lord. Aww. Aww. July 15th, 8th, 1989 is uh, when the they met. The day that they met. The day they met, which is also Lori's birthday. Or I booked they're... the vacation two years ago on her birthday, and she yelled at me. Fun fact. It's dark in here, Mike. Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> like, because it's a glow room. <laughs> Holy crap, is that my new office? Oh, the bathroom? Yeah. Let's go check it out. <laughs> You're not allowed in here. He needs a bigger shower because he's got a stinky butt. Oh. It looks beautiful. In a good way. We have footings being poured for the bridges. You guys know how I've been crazy about these bridges. I cannot wait till they actually get here. We won't have to walk across plywood to just get into the building. So the bridges actually are gonna be here Monday, which is absolutely gonna be amazing to see them here. And hopefully they'll be installed by the middle of next week. So you saw us talking with Drew. We got a few problems with the bridge. Uh, rocks in the way. This is gonna be in the way. We got that rock right there that needs like six inches cut out of it. We would actually have to drain this pond. And as for here, that rock that the platform's sitting on, just a few. <laughs> yeah. Nothing we can't handle. Okay. Some of the problems are stack slate walls are up just a little bit too high, so we may have to just remove those. Just for the time being, then we'll put them back in. We'll have to notch them out. Some of the stones. Problem is, is some of those are big and they're holding back all that soil that's there. Yeah, they're like a wall. Oh yeah. So I mean, the wall would fall in. It, it might collapse. So we may have to notch it or actually remove it and put two smaller ones there but not a problem. We came up with a game plan. We're gonna tackle this and get it done so we can get that bridge in on Monday. Anybody that needs some pond work, indoor, outdoor, in your toilet, doesn't matter. Hit up Jeff. <laughs> Thanks, dude. I appreciate you coming all the way back to help figure hey, this out. No problem. So we definitely have a little bit of a problem. Now, when you designed the bridge, I said it was imperative that we didn't move any rocks around. They wanted to kind of pinch the pond together. But once you have the pond set with the liner and everything, I didn't want to do that. Well, I just found out today that they want us to move some boulders around because of the way the foundation is for the bridge. This is exactly what we didn't want to do. So thankfully, my buddy, Jeff from Pondering Water, and he talked, he thinks that there might be a solution that could work, but I'm not very happy about it because again, I said that we cannot do that because if this pond leaks, we have big problems. So it's just kind of a bummer. I mean, I'm excited to get the bridges. I'm a little disappointed that we didn't get them done the way I said I wanted them done. This Bermuda Triangle is insane. I swear to God, I, every time I see it, it changes more, but this coral is just crazy. They did another, just bang up job on this. this is so good. How cool is all of this with all these little things? It adds so much more dimension to it. And I can't even imagine how much cooler once the water's in there and stuff. This is so crazy. It's so good. You love it? I I do. I love it so much. Do you think there's something going on with this coral? Well, I I can see oh, why. Be careful how you did not use this one. Just saying. <laughs> 
<laughs> or maybe it goes on the pole. <laughs> Even though we have a ton going on across the street with the Legacy Bill, we do have a lot of fun things going on here at the Reptarium, such as Junior Zookeeper Night that we've instituted. This will be our second one tonight. Kids get a really cool shirt. They get to do all kinds of fun things, see what a zookeeper does. What kid doesn't want to do that? I think most kids probably grow up and be like, oh, I want to work at a zoo or Everybody. I want to play with animals. So this is a great opportunity for them to get hands on, get a chance, get a really cool shirt, souvenir. Yep. And have a great time, right? Yep, that's Ben's shirt. This is Ben's shirt. Oh, that's right. I didn't even notice that. Look at you even get your name on your shirt. How cute is that? Can't go to work without name tag. Yep, and then you get to work with a lot of the guys that work here. Jay's going to be here. Mike's going to be here. Connie's going to be here. Teaching you what they do every day. One marshmallow. Check it out. Ooh, two marshmallow. Two marshmallow. Check it out. Check it out. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, God. So we've been grinding floors and stuff like that, getting them ready for epoxy, but the back of the house stuff, we actually already have the first epoxy down. Now, this is very similar to what we use over at the Reptarium, which is just basically a clear coat. So the back of the house stuff is gonna be clear coat. But then when you get into this area here, in the saltwater area, in the reptile area, it's gonna be what they call metallic epoxy. It is so beautiful, all these swirls and stuff like that in it. But it is cool to see this getting done. Again, every step closer we have, now we can start putting sinks in, finishing this all off. Back over here at behind the predator tank, we have the same thing, the floors are done. So basically now Steve Bashy can come in and actually put the filtration in, which will be absolutely incredible. So things are coming together. Flory. What do you think about the Flory? Flory? Flory's yeah. done. Because in your name's Lori. In your name's. I know, that's not funny. But I do like the Flory. This is crazy. I'm so excited for the mammals. I have all this room. Look at Brillo's got a super awesome spot. We're going to make that a dig spot. Really crazy to see him coming along. I can't wait until we're standing here. Like, look at all this room and just think it's going to be. He's climbing on the walls, he's on your shoulders, he's on the ground, he's back on your shoulders. Speaking of Stitch, I gotta show you guys this new thing that we taught him. Go Stitch. Go Mike. Come on, Stitch. One more time, you got it. Oh, Stitchy. Come on. <laughs> Just like that, how you train your bencher wrong. How to train your bencher wrong. Isn't there a movie like that? Yeah. No, I think it was How to Train a Dragon. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.